Hi, I'm here at Red Crags Estate in Manatee Springs, Colorado, USA, and I'm with Sir David Frank. Sir David plays one of our Paladin Holy Warriors, but he's also a trainer for the sword training, the 1 through 9 360 technique that Sir David Card uh, basically created uh, with the Citadel Holy Orders. And Sir David Frank and Sir Evan Jackson are the two primary trainers that we're using for this. We're here outside, as you can see, in the wonderful winter snowery. Snowery? I don't know if that's a, a real word or not, but that's okay. I'm, I'm an executive producer. I get to make that thing stuff. So here we are. Wonderful place. Did a lot of filming here, a lot of training here. And Sir David, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you did. And by the way, this is one of the original pieces done for the Eye of Nor Vampire series, Draco Ortis, Dragon Rising, moving by Fleur de Bede, Miss Jennifer Tate, Foot. So, David, why don't you tell us a little bit about the movie? Oh, the movie's been great. Uh, it's been great working with everyone and training everyone for the the great fight scenes that we have. You've done a great job with that. How do you? How, how, what would you say about some of the most intense parts about you and some of the other paladins fighting the vampires? We're using real swords. It's real metal on metal. Yeah. Well, how do you think about? How do you feel about that? It's good that everyone has the training to be able to do that. It's not very easy. Um, very dangerous work so it is very dangerous work and you start them out with wooden dowel rods yeah and then you go into kind of a poly uh, synthetic blade and then you finally get into the real metal blades yes on average about how long does it take a person to go from wood all the way through metal generally with our training program like two or three weeks okay and that's just the basic maneuver the one yes. through nine with adding the 360 to it now, yep. for some of the more intense fight scenes, was like, for example, Shale LePage, Tavita Tata, Sir Evan, yourself. Some of that stuff took several months to choreate, didn't it? Yes. Okay. And how, how often did you train to get people ready for that after those months? Uh, once or twice a week? I trained several times a week for many hours Okay. each day that we trained. So. Okay. And then you actually came out here to Red Crags because they have the terrace landscape. And once you actually got it set, you came out here, correct? and actually walk through it, walk through the steps to make sure they could do it here on set. Yes. Okay, all right. And what would you, what are some of the recommendations you would give people for if they want to get involved in an action movie like this? What, what are some pointers you would give them? First get the contacts, uh, and then find someone who could train you for the action scenes if that's what you want to do. Okay. It's any, not any, very easy. So. Oh, it's not very easy. You're right. Any any physical techniques you would teach them, like to get in shape, so that kind of training they can do to make sure they can actually handle it? It's important to consult your physician before beginning any physical training program to uh, see where you are and then find someone who is knowledgeable about fitness who can train you. Excellent. Okay. Because many people, when they watch these films, and they take a look at this, they see how easy this looks because it's so well trained, well planned out and choreographed. But this is some very intense fighting with real swords, with real blades hitting. You guys spend a lot of time getting people ready for that. Uh, we talked to uh, Shale, uh, Shale LePage is a former kickboxer. You're a Marine. Um, Evan Jackson's in martial arts uh, and he also has some military background. Sir David Card is also a US Army combat veteran. And you get these people involved in this stuff, and it's very intense. And it takes a lot of actual time and practice, correct? Yeah. And you guys really had to focus on this and use a lot of safety. Now, if a person is struggling with the, with the wood dowel rods and moving up, do you actually push them through to the metal, or do you stop? It depends on uh, that person's confidence. Okay. And if you think that they will be ready in time for the film, Okay, because there are some actors and actresses that we actually tried to get ready for fight scenes and you could never do it. Yeah. So, there was, so their fight scenes were cut because it's too unsafe to take that person. If they can't learn the wood, they're not going to the polys and from the polys to the metal. Yeah. So exactly. the people who actually made it all the way through to do the actual metal fight scenes using the real swords, what would you say, how would you assess them and their skill abilities? Well, pretty much if they... Uh perform all the techniques correctly and don't injure anyone then. or themselves or themselves <laughs> that's right well sir david thank you you did a great thank job you. on this on this project and
you're a good paladin and keep watching this guy sir david frank from the citadel holy orders and Milan productions and if you need someone to teach you self-defense Citadel Process is the company. You're a chief trainer at Citadel Process, correct? Yes. Citadel Process teaches survival, hand-to-hand, -hand, sword training, and a variety of other techniques. Safety, security, survival. Thank you very much. You guys did a great job. Our movie's so much better with you.